give another video update of my auto valve control. I'm using the Barker valve controllers. I've got it sitting here on my workbench. The system that I'm putting together is using the OEM harness. It is connecting to a wireless node and this is the size of the single node and then I have a push button here for manual operation. The idea is going to be to put this node in a box with these buttons exposed and then the tank control system would be inside the coach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate opening, press the button, we notice that I've got the local LED working, the tank display showing that it's open. Now I didn't open it all the way. I can go ahead and keep pushing it open all the way. I don't have progress, nor do I really intend to do it. It's just going to be an open or closed situation. But this LED is working off of the limit switch that's built into the Barker. Close. The system will update, showing that it's closed, and the LED light goes off. It's very simple. Do it one more time here. Just and right now, this unit here. We look at it closely. It's got built-in Wi-Fi. That's how it's communicating to the tank controller. They're sitting right next to each other, but distance won't be an issue. Uh, the message is being transmitted with MQTT, and that's what's giving the update. Eventually, I'm going to get this part working. I've not tied that part back in to send the messages. Right now, I'm just sending status from this controller back so it's progress i'm going to disconnect the power here and i'll show you a little bit more on the control this is my first time to ever do a project with electronics the uh, connectors here that's going to be your connectors from the Barker control and then this will be static 12 volt on the other and that's the only wires that have to be connected and like I've said it's set up so that if this node fails you just unplug it and plug back in the regular Barker controller and you have manual operation again this is the brains of it. It's a Arduino board with Wi-Fi built on. And if everything goes right, you'll never have to touch it. Well, that's it for now.